What you'll need is two balls of wool. These are 50 grams each. Here's just a up close of the, the label. And then another ball of wool in a different color. And um, I've just got an extra half. I'll probably be using one and a half balls of each color. So, oh yeah, and then I need, then you need a two, a three millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna start with a slip stitch and then I'm gonna chain four. One, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna join the chain by going into that first chain that we did with a slip stitch. Then I'm gonna chain one and make nine double crochets in this middle, that middle stitch. So this is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to tighten that loop by just tugging on the string. Then I'm going to join row one. with a slip stitch into that chain one we did in the beginning. Now we're gonna do row two. So we're gonna chain one. And for this row, we're gonna increase by doing two double two single crochets in every stitch. So in this first stitch, we're going to go one, two, and in the second stitch, we're not going to finish off the stitch properly because we're going to change color. We're going to put the green yarn in. Then we can go the green yarn, one, two then change color one two and then we just change color one Two, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to change the color. One, two. Change color. So you get the gist of it and I'll meet you over there. And we're going to do two double crochets. Oh, didn't go through the stitch properly. Two single crochets. One, two. Then we're going to change color and join row two with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to just put this marker in so we can see where our row begins. So we're going to start row three with our 
increase so we're going to go into that first stitch with two single crochets one two then we do one single crochet but we're not going to finish off the stitch we're going to change color we can do our increase one one two our single crochet change color start our increase one two a single crochet change color and so that's for row three and I'll meet you when we're coming to the end so we're coming to the end of row three we're gonna change color our two double crochets and our single crochet change color and now we join with a slip knot and we start row four chain one and then I'll put the marker in. We start with our increase, so one, two. Then we go two single crochets now. And then change color on the, the second single crochet. Then we begin with our increase. So for row four, it's increase, two single crochet, and then increase. While on the second single crochet, change color, then increase. One, one, two. Change color. So I'll meet you when we're ending row four. So we're ending row four. Um, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. Put the slip marker On the hook then we're gonna do our increase so start with two single crochets and then we're gonna do three stitches one one two three on the third stitch change color and then we start our increase one two so for row five, it's three single crochets. And in the fourth stitch, we increase. 
So one, two, three, at the end of the third single crochet, we change colors. And then on the fourth stitch, we start our increase. One, two, three, change colors, increase, one, two, three, you know how that is for row five. I'll meet you at the end of row five. So we're coming to the end of the fifth row. I'm going to take the mark out. Join with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. And we're going to start with our increase. So for row six, we started with our increase of two single crochet in that first stitch. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then on that fourth stitch, we change colors and we do two double crochets in the fifth stitch, which is our increase. So for row six, it's one, two, three, four. And in the fifth stitch, you increase. So we go one, two, three, four change colors and in the fifth stitch you increase one two so i'll meet you at the end of this row gonna take the marker out um Then we change colors and I'm going to join the row with a slip stitch Then I'm going to chain one, put the marker through there and then um, we start row seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for row seven, we're going to start with our increase. One, two. Then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five single crochets and then on that fifth stitch we're going to change colors and then in the sixth stitch we're going to do six uh two double crochets which is our increase so we're going to go one two three four one two three four five change colors and in the sixth stitch do our increase and i'll meet you at the end of row seven so we're coming to the end of row seven i'm just gonna Go into that last stitch, change color, and then I'm going to end the row with a slip stitch, then chain one. I'm going to put the marker through the stitch, then we're going to begin with an increase one, two, then we're going to go. 
one, two, three, three, four, five, six single crochets. And on that six single crochet, we're going to change the color. And then on the seventh stitch, we're going to do our increase. So we're going six single crochets and in the seventh stitch increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, change colors. And then seven, increase. And then we're just gonna do that until the end of the row. So we're coming to the end of the eighth row. I'm gonna change color and take this counter out or marker and I'm going to join the row with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one, put the marker back in its place. Well, not in the same place, but at the beginning. And then we're going to start with our increase. So we're going to go two single crochets in the first stitch. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh stitch, change your color. And then on the eighth stitch, we're going to increase. So it's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, change color, and then increase. So we're coming to the end of, um, the ninth row I'm gonna change colors you can see that we're gonna just go in there with a slip stitch and um, we're gonna start the tenth row by chaining one and then I'm gonna start with an increase one two and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change color and then increase. So it's going to be eight single crochets and then our increase so let's do that one more time one seven eight single crochets but on the eighth one you change color and then we do our increase one two So we're coming to the end of row 10. 
can join with a slip stitch chain one i'm not using a stitch mark anymore because i think it's pretty like you can see the rows pretty clearly so um then for row 11 we're gonna start with our increase and then we're gonna do one One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, change color. And then in the 10th stitch, increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine change color and then in the 10th stitch increase one two so i'll meet you when we finish row 11. so we're coming to the end of the 11th row i'm going to change our color but now except we're going to do it differently we're going to start the 12th row and we're going to go into that first loop, well, the front loop, with a single crochet. That's how we're going to end the 11th row and start the 12th row. Then I'm just going to place a marker into, well, on that stitch. And for row 12, um... We're just going to crochet in the front loop of every stitch. We're not increasing nothing. We're just crocheting in the front loop of every stitch um, because this is going to cause the hat to change direction and slope downwards. Oh, and I did um, 11 rows for the base, well, the top of the hat kind of but if you want it bigger you can just do more rows than 11 and if you want it smaller you can just do less so here we're just crocheting in the front loop of every stitch for row 12 and i'll just show you so before we're just gonna so before this green color, we are still going to change colors to make it look like um, this hat's still going spirally. I don't know if that makes any sense. In that last green color do your single crochet and change colors and then we just continue this until the end of the row so are we coming to the end of um, the 12th row go into that last stitch change colors take the marker out and then um, I'm going to single crochet into the first stitch. Then I'm just going to place the marker in. And um, 
I'm going to continue single crocheting into every stitch. And then we go into that last white stitch, change color. And we just continue doing this from row 13 to row 27. So we're just coming towards the end of row 27 and um, we're going to start row 28 by doing um, a single crochet in the first loop of every stitch. Um, we're just doing this to change the direction of the hat. Um, to create that like sticky outfit of the hat. I don't know what to call it, but um, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, and I'm just putting the slip marker back in the first stitch and I will meet you once I have done row 28. So we're coming to the end of row 28 and now we're going to start row 29. So I'm just going to take the marker out and we're going to start. Wait, I'm just actually going to put the marker on the stitch here. I'm just putting the stitch marker back in that first stitch. And we're going to start row 29 um, with an increase because it's the beginning of the color. Um, so basically, from row 29 to row 37, we will be making an increase, which is our two single crochets in that first stitch um, of every color. So um, I'll meet you once we have done row 37 and also you must remember to change color look we're doing our increase at the beginning of that green color and we will just do this for all the next rows so we are coming to the end of row 37 um now once we start row 38, we are just going to single crochet in every stitch from row 38 to row 41. So we're just going to single crochet in the next four rows. You must not forget to change colors in between. Yeah, each color. So we're coming to the end of row 41 and we're going to just change colors and then we're going to do, take the marker out and we're going to do a slip stitch in that first, in that chain and pull the yarn through, you can get your scissors and Cut your yarn and then you'll have to weave it in. I'm going to weave the white in that way and then the green in that way and then you are finished. And here's the hat. I'll insert a few pictures and clips on what it looks like on but it's very different and colorful very cute it's just like a little video of the hat it's pretty cute 